This is an introductory tutorial on how to use the Cornet Electro Smog Meter, which measures radio frequencies to measure your devices, anything wireless in nature, cell phones, and then magnetic fields, which plugged in appliances, and as we'll see later, microwave ovens and so forth, any kind of appliance. So we'll get to that by starting with the meter. So in order to keep that light on, I'm going to put it on hold, and then I'm going to Press three times, one, two, three, and then take it off hold, and that's going to keep the back light on the whole time, which I prefer. So the radio frequencies are going to measure your devices, your wireless devices, and you could use this in front of a cell phone tower, or you could use this to measure your cell phone. You could use it for a cordless phone, or as we'll see, a microwave oven as well. So that's what the RF mode is for. I like to keep, and Building Biology recommends, keeping your radio frequency level to less than a 0.01. And I, li I like to keep that on the back of my meter so that I always keep that in mind. What is my goal? A lot of different opinions on that. The Bio Initiative Report 2012 recommends less than 0.03. Either way, when you get in front of a cell tower, or as we'll see, your devices, it's much, much higher. For magnetic fields, you toggle to the next one, and then the next one is a more sensitive setting for micro Tesla. So again, the suggested uh, amount for building biology is less than 0 0.02. So I keep that as a framework. As I go around the house, I put this up against different appliances, and I see what my levels are. This helps me determine whether or not I want to sleep next to a plugged-in lamp. I can see the difference. When I unplug it, I see the magnetic fields go down. So remember, a magnetic field measures something that's turned on and being used. So when I put this up against my dehydrator, for instance, that told me to move my dehydrator away from the bed that was behind the wall, and I also moved it into the laundry room. So it helps you figure out where you want to put different appliances that are in use. Okay, so we're going to see this uh, radio frequency measurement next to a cordless duct phone. So again, I'm going to put it on hold. I'm going to do this three times and then take it off hold so that I can see the uh, backlight. Now, not much activity. We don't have the wireless, um, the Wi-Fi on in the home, so it's pretty low, 0 .005. When I plug this in, you're going to see that change. and see how high and active that is. So you can see why it's not a good idea to sleep next to it or to go to a landline, which is what we did. If I take this off, you can see next to a landline, that's very, very different. Now, I'm gonna show you how you can see if shielding material works. Let's turn this back on and see the activity go up into the red. That's that's. That's very high. This is Hertz cloth, which is a shielding fabric. Now if I put that between me and the phone, it doesn't cause it to go down to zero, but it really changes it. So shielding can very much help if you live right next to a cell tower or something like that. Okay, I think one of the best examples is the microwave oven. And this really explains why, for the most part, we keep ours off and don't use it. Let's look at the radio frequencies or the wireless component to this. Um, here it is not being used. And let me get it so you can see the light. Okay, so there it is not being used. If we turn it on, you can see that go way up. That's radio frequencies. Now let's switch to magnetic fields which is happening because of it being plugged in and being on. And you can see it's too high for the sensitive setting. That's how high the magnetic fields are. That's just not active, but just by being on. And this is why, unfortunately, we can't just take this out because it's attached to the oven. So here's what we do. Now that you see this, you can understand why this has caused us to do this. If we, need the oven, if we don't need the oven on, we just turn them both off with our circuit. Go ahead. So this is 
is our range, which is the microwave combination. So we basically keep that off. And now we'll go in and see, see what the level is with that circuit off. So remember, one of the best uses of this is for the appliances, for your wireless devices, and your sleeping area at night. You want to see what your magnetic field exposure is and your RF field exposure. Trying to go under these limits by unplugging, turning circuits off, whatever it takes, but it's one tool to help you have a safer home or office or school environment.